what did you bring for your class presentation? The Book of the Slimy. It's a scrapbook of my paranormal experiences. You know, uncivilized spirits, alien intruders, hungry monsters with bad manners. I see. Okay, uh, Angela, go ahead. I am here to give a touch of fairy dust to every last one of you. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Miss Gatto, Mona is ruining everything. Mona, I won't ask you again to behave. Angela, what does all this have to do with your class presentation? Oh, nothing at all. But since I'm up here, I'd like to make an announcement. Today, handsome boys and homely girls, I am going to make St. Faith's history. <coughs> I'm running for student body president, and this is my speech. Thank you, potential voters. George, what do you have? This is a scale model version of a foreign automobile. In this case, a luxury sedan. Watch this. Um, as you can see, it's a cutaway model giving us a view of the interior. Uh, thank you, George. All right, everyone, you know the drill. All right, fire drill, we get to go outside. Yes. Come on, Mona, drop the string and go outside. But you don't. It's a fire alarm, Mona. That means you have to hurry outside. Now! Sorry, false alarm. Here's your fire. Salisbury steak? I got into this rubber suit for I nothing. get to ride in the front on the way back. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Woohoo! Wow! Good ride! Ah! It's gone! Oh no! What is. <laughs> we have to track down my book of the slimy and fast. The longer those evil spirits are out there, the stronger they'll become. All right, children, back to your seats. It's time to watch a fascinating documentary on the history of peat moss. In time, they could grow so strong that... Oh, no, they've already started! Hey, what's up? Oh, I hope it's not too late. <gasps> I will clean it until it is not there anymore! It's the ghost maid of Paris! We've got to catch her before she disinfects us into oblivion! Ah! It's Goopo the Banshee Slime Ball! Ah! 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 <laughs> Actually, children, I believe the janitor just super waxed this section. I'd suggest you be careful. It's mighty slippery. Oh. We've looked everywhere. Where could that book be? It doesn't know its way around the school, and as far as I know, it doesn't have legs. Children and students of St. Faith's, I know you're as excited as I am that I'm running for school president. You don't have to thank me, even though you may want to. Your vote on election day would be thanks enough for all the hard work and sacrifices I'm making for you. So come on, St. Faith's, show me how much you want me uh -oh. to be your school president.
Why is it always you three? What is it about you? Uh... All that perfectly good food gone to waste. <gasps> Kids today just have no sense. Why, when I was a kid... No! Ah! Oops. Whoa. You've all won yourselves a 500-word essay on the folly of food fights. You can do it during your detention. <clears throat> I'm off to a dentist appointment. I'll see you after school. keeping us from finding the Book of the Slimy. Oh, we need to retrace our steps if we're gonna figure out who took it. You're right, Charlie. The last time I saw the Book of the Slimy was just before the alarm rang. Maybe George took it. Nope. He was outside with us. Angela. She was the first one inside after the alarm. Look out! Whoa! Retirement. I want my book, Angela. If you had better manners, I'd... I gave it to the janitor to recycle. <gasps> One down, a whole bunch more to go. How are we going to get them back into the book? I think I have an idea. for doing such a good job. Reading our world of mischievous spirits is what we do. No need to thank us. I'm talking about the good job you did cleaning the library. Oh, and by the way, it turns out these strange goings-on in the school were a result of the construction being done next door. 
But what about your hat blowing down the hall? And the banging lockers? The opening and closing doors? I'm sure there's an explanation for all of that, too. is completely unprotected from bacteria. Ugh! This chili pot is the perfect receptacle for a germ invasion. Good morning, children. We're your new chefs. Your regular cook is sick today. We're replacing him. This is Sam, and my name is Ella. The cook usually gives us a few of the burnt muffins on Tuesday. He gives you substandard food? No, burnt muffins. Only on Tuesdays. I gotta go. We can't be late for class. This doesn't sound like a very hygienic environment. That's why we're here. A dangerous threat that lurks in every cozy little kitchen and in every used dishcloth. Two million could be wriggling and crawling between the fingers of your unwashed hands. No. But perhaps the most insidious bacteria of all is salmonella. It's in your home and in your school, waiting, waiting in improperly prepared food. Now, do you all see why I ask you to wash your hands with hot water and soap? May I go wash my hands, Miss Gatto? Yes, George. And who else would like to go wash their hands? Oops. Sorry, Ella. Uh, if someone sees this mess, they'll know we're not really cooks. Hello, little girl. Don't you have classes to go to? So, does anyone have any questions about bacteria like Salmonella? Sam and Ella. Sam and Ella. Ella and Sam, the new cafeteria workers. Coincidence? This chili pot is the perfect receptacle for a germ invasion. If someone sees this mess, they'll know we're not really cooks. The human embodiments of the dreaded bacteria are here in our school. The new school cooks are the Sam and Ella Miss Gatto keeps talking about. I bet that right this second they're infecting today's chili special. Are you ready? <laughs> Hurry up, Sam! The chili is just the right temperature! Wow. I haven't been this relaxed since the six months we lived in that octogenarian sauna. Get out of here and get to the kitchen. Yes, Lily? Miss Gatto, may Mona and I go wash our hands again? They're not in there. They must be hiding, already diabolically lurking in the chili. Why don't we just put them in the garbage can? The garbage pickup isn't until Friday. And Salmonella love garbage cans. They thrive in dirt and trash. This way. There. It'll be a thousand years before Salmonella see daylight again. Did you do it? Don't worry, the world is now safe from salmonella. Okay, toast and jam, a banana, and eight grapes is 342 calories. Hmm, my cardiologist will be very proud of me. <laughs> the unmistakable scent of delicious simmering chili, my favorite. 
Bad for my angina, but it's been so long. <laughs> oh, Chili. Where are you, Chili? Come to me. I know you're down here, Chili. in a battle uno a uno on their own turf. As soon as school's finished for the day. You're right, Mona. Salmonella have disappeared. Disappeared, huh? Well, there's only one place they can be. Lily, show Charlie the map. Salmonella must have entered here, headed south, and holed up somewhere in his stomach region. So we know where they are, but getting to them is the tough part. Say, Charlie. Do you have a spaceship? Yeah, sure. Okay, go home and get it. And don't forget your Zapparama gun. A map of the human body? A spaceship? Charlie's Zapparama gun? What's the plan? We're going to pay Salmonella a little visit. How are we gonna get past them? Okay, Mommy. I'll go to the picnic. The coast is clear. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Food poisoning. Next antibiotic injection in... in five minutes! Zapparama gun, check. Operation adapted positronic skimulator and backwards, check. Intraterrestrial spaceship and loading dock, check. Gee, Lily, I'm sure glad you got an A in biology. We're ready, Charlie. Here goes nothing. Wow, we're tiny. <laughs> And now to microscopic size you and the spaceship. And remember, you only have 10 minutes to complete the operation before you start enlarging. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mona? Charlie? Lily? What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Miss Gatto. I'm feeling much better. My stomach and my angina. Thank goodness. It turns out those two replacement cooks weren't cooks at all. They were actually food inspectors doing an undercover spot check. Salmonella weren't food inspectors. They were the notorious bacteria rampaging in your stomach. So I shrunk Mona and Lily and Bang and they entered your veins. And, and we forced Salmonella out through your ear. Now out, the three of you, and that cat. No cats in the hospital. What's this? And Charlie, no toys in the hospital. A little spaceship. Uh, uh, I had the strangest dream.